Retail trade. Small scale traders with shops. Why were you rearranging the clothes? Hmm. So that the ones which are at the back can be taken to the front for potential customers to get to see them. I see. So let's find out about these small scale traders with shops. Mm -hmm. Well, they have shops just as the name suggests. Most of the shops are owned by one person, who in most cases is also the one operating it. Mm -hmm. Kiosks are a good example of such shops. I see so many of them around my home. Mm -hmm. That is right, because most of them are constructed by the roadsides or next to residential buildings. And they are very simple structures, nothing fancy. Mm -hmm. In them, you can find groceries being sold or things that people use on daily basis like bread, tissue paper, sugar, and so on. Now that you have made my work easier, mm -hmm. I'll go straight to automatic vending machines. What are those? These are machines that dispense goods when money is inserted into them. Wow, tell me more. Well, they are placed at strategic places where there is human traffic and can be used to sell soft drinks, tea, coffee and so on. You can even play music from them. Come to think of it, mm. I think I have seen them in movies. Ah, yes, those ones. Then we have the canteens. What's the difference between kiosks and canteens? Canteens are retail shops found in institutions like schools and colleges. Don't you have one back at school? Actually we do. It's just that I thought that it was the same thing as a kiosk. No, it's not. Canteens can also be found next to offices and can sell fast-moving goods like bread, milk, soap and sugar. My school canteen sells very delicious mandazis. Good for you. We also have market stalls. How is that different from the open market traders we discussed earlier? The market stalls are actually retail shops built in a designated area by the local authorities who in turn charge the traders who rent them a certain fee. Now I get the difference. The open market traders display their goods in open air while market stall traders have specific shops where they trade from. That's right. Market stall traders also sell household goods, just like the open market traders. I have not heard anything about the kinds of shops where they stock a good variety of goods. Uh, we have a lot of those all over the country. Mm -hmm. And they are called single shops. Ah. They operate from a fixed premise mm -hmm. and are run by one person who is also the owner. But different family members can help operate the shop too. Yes. Have you ever heard of a tide shop? Nope. Have you ever been to any butter shoe shop? Yes, my school shoes were bought there. That is a good example of a tide shop. Mm -hmm. In such a shop, they sell goods from a particular manufacturer exclusively. The manufacturers control everything from ownership to operations to finances. Interesting. They even decide how the shop is designed and how goods are displayed. So aside from butter, we also have mobile phone shops, airtime cards shops, and petrol stations. Now let us wrap this discussion by talking about mobile shops. Mobile shops? Yes. In this case, a vehicle is converted into a shop from where customers can buy. Uh -huh. The mobile trader moves from town to town or village to village with this vehicle. Now that you say it, I have seen them before. Mm-hmm. They too sell fast-moving goods such as airtime, cakes, medicine, and so on. Now that you know all about retailers with shops, do you have an idea of the advantages? I believe that the capital used to start such businesses are still small hmm. as compared to what you used to open this store, for example. Mm -hmm. From what I gathered, most of these businesses are being operated by one person or he's helped by family members. This means that less labor is required, mm. which means that even the expenses for running it is low. Wonderful. I'm not done here yet. Mm. They also get to interact more one-on-one -on -one with their customers, who in turn enjoy the personal attention. Very well done. There are also few legal formalities required to start such a business, since only a license is required to start it. I remembered something. Mm -hmm. Since the business is operated by just one person, yes. don't you think that decision-making is very fast? 
Are you asking or is just saying? Well, I am saying, but since you're the expert, there's no harm in confirming. You are very right. And this first decision making leads to flexibility. Mm. They can easily change from one line of business to another. Depending on what is selling fast in the market. Yes. And the risks involved in operating such a business are minimal because they deal with less stock. And the other side of the coin. Mm-hmm. You said it yourself that these shops exist all over the country. So definitely there is the element of competition. That's very true. Mm. They are all over competing for the same customer. Not to forget, they also face competition from large scale traders. Now, secondly, they find it hard to get financial support from institutions in terms of loans. Why? Because they may not have any collateral or it may be hard to prove that their businesses will be able to generate enough money to pay for the loan. I see. And these traders tend to give out debts a lot. Which may not be paid in time. Mm-hmm. Or even be paid at all. Now, this may lead to the collapse of the business. And since these shops are small in size, they may end up lacking storage areas. Therefore, cannot buy goods in bulk. You know what that means? It means that they have to buy in smaller quantities, which leads into even higher costs. Right, girl. And lastly, they sell in small quantities, which can only lead to small profits. Mm. Hey, you must be hungry. Can I buy you something? Yes, please. A soda will do. Okay. Come with me. <laughs>